don't just plan, act. Before we start with the video, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. So please subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind. Do you ever suffer from analysis paralysis? It's that feeling when you are so caught up in a decision and overwhelmed that the options available to you that you do nothing instead. Beveled by the choices, motivation fades and confidence crumbles. To commit to one path or to take the first step feels impossible. After endlessly evaluating our options, we often end up doing nothing or at best take half-hearted action with half our attention on the options we have just rejected. When the paralysis wins, our situation remains fundamentally unchanged. Progress is negligible or at best stilted. Rewards go unclaimed. We remain stuck in the same place where we began. All we have gained is another story to tell about what could have been. Another what if or an if only to add to our personal narrative. We use it to lament our lowly progress, using it to beat ourselves up. What a sorry tale. Action. Always action. Ready, aim, fire. Think, plan, act. On your marks, get set, go. The third step in each of these calls to action demands doing something, not just thinking about it. Coincidence? I think not. There's enormous merit in preparing and planning and we need to be clearly focused on our target if we are to stand a chance of hitting it. If we don't plan and figure out what we are actually going after, then we are resigning ourselves to flailing around without purpose, relying on luck or serendipity to deliver positive outcomes. Preparation is paramount. Ensuring we have the skills and tools for the job is essential. Recruiting the appropriate people into our team is vital. Sooner or later though, we have got to actually do something, to fire, act or get going. We need to pull the trigger and execute on the plan. This is where the analysis paralysis kicks in for many. It's in this moment where many blink, second guess themselves and reconsider. Pushing on through this moment of fear, battling through the procrastination with confidence even if it's fake confidence, that's where the bold and successful differentiate themselves from the meek and the also rents. Action carries a risk of failure of course. It demands that we confront our vulnerability, accept discomfort and push outside of our safety zone. It requires that we leave the relative safety of planning and move forwards into the execution phase. Not all action is equal. Aimless action and busy work are unlikely to deliver meaningful progress. Instead, they are coping mechanisms, a way of prolonging and delaying, indulging the instinct to procrastinate. Meaningful action demands that we accept the uncertainty, that we embrace the possibility that this might work or that it might not work and that we give it a go just the same, wholeheartedly and with our full and focused attention. We may have underestimated the scale of the challenge. We may have overestimated how much interest there might be in our idea. We may have completely missed the point. We may need to recruit help or put in more practice. We may need to do it differently, harder, faster, bigger, shinier or more subtly. Maybe, just maybe, we will get it right first time. Strengthen your doing muscle. Each time we act, we give ourselves a chance of achieving success merely through putting ourselves onto the field of play. Sooner or later, we have got to get in the ring and into the game. We have got to do the thing and ship the product. When we do, we gain one more experience of what it feels like to take action. It's another rep completed in the process of building the strength to act. Taking action when our instinct tells us not to is a skill that must be practiced repeatedly and diligently. Rejecting flight and choosing to fight must become second nature, the habitual choice. Just like every skill we strive to perfect, it takes time, repetition and application to master. Do, act and fire at will. It's the quickest way to hit your targets and to achieve your goals. If you do, you may win. If you don't, you give yourself no chance. Take care of yourself. We'll see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this video helps you to achieve a smarter living.